hello everyone welcome back to our channel so today we are going to start our second module that is installation and setup here we will discuss about how we are going to install open search and open search dashboards and how to set up that the first we need to ensure uh, the system requirements that needs to ensure open search is smoothly installed so first is the operating system we can work on any of them whether it is linux or windows or mac we, in linux we can use any of the versions ubuntu centos or debian uh, memory minimum should be 4 gb however 8 gb is recommended but minimum should be 4 gb and cpu should be multi core processor which is something we can we have to use storage recommended is uh, sdt uh, which is recommended for uh, better performance and java we need uh, open gdk 11 or any other later version so this make sure open search runs smoothly on your system once it is installed Next, we'll discuss available methods of open search installation. So there are various methods how we can install open search. First one is the Docker, which is simplified de uh, deployment using container. So here we run open search in a container, which is for very easy setup. Another available installation method is hem, which is used for installing open search on Kubernetes. We can use this method. Other one is Starbell. This is the manual way to install with more flexibility. We can, uh, next one is RPM. This is for Red Hat Linux users. You can use, uh, if you are uh, using Red Hat Linux, then you, you can install using this RPM. Other one is Debian, which is for Debian, Ansible. Uh, playbooks are also available. You can automate the installation process using this. Uh, we can also install, um, open search on windows so uh, we have different uh, exe files available on open search uh, downloads websites and you can use them uh, we let me show you how to um, whatever available websites are there here coming back to my site okay here so yeah as i mentioned there are multiple installation methods are available locker tarbell so this is for dashboard and this is yep I, what i was talking about so open search and open search dashboards these are available methods here uh, if we talk about the documentation which is available on open search website there are they have uh, talked in details uh, how you can install docker uh, what are the steps you need to follow whatever configure settings you need to do so these things they have mentioned in detail with various command how to run open search in docker container so how bcr so you can follow you can copy these commands and run in your docker if you are using docker to install open search similarly they have mentioned for him as well so whatever the pre-request how to install various commands you just need to copy and use and run it so in case uh, depends on whatever system you're using so they have explained all the details uh, also you can run using the sample output similarly for tarbell uh, rpm and debian so these are the for the linux user so if you are using any of these uh, types then you can use they have explained the details uh, everything you can just download the package from their website and use it and run these uh, commands to just install and then uh, run it and then you can use open search so this is available methods for windows also just and download and unpack the uh, exe file and then you can just install it the zip file which is available so it is all mentioned you need to ensure some settings need to be en uh, enabled and then just run these commands etc so they have explained each and every step in detail uh, how you can install uh, open search on various 
available methods which are available depending on what system you are using you can install it so here are various uh, download packages they have also mentioned on their site so you can use this if you're using docker you can use these files if you are using linux any of the versions whether uh, rpm or etc you can do this and even they have provided various drivers as well which is minimum requirement you can use all these things so this is something you can use to download we are not going to use any of, the, of these methods i am going to use a uh, playground which is available uh, by the open search uh, to uh, and we will run all our queries creating dashboards searching data uh, ingesting data etc uh, creating alerts dashboards so we'll we'll run all those things in our coming videos uh, the different modules when we'll discuss yep though these are the available methods of uh, installation of uh, the ways we can install dashboards as well as open search on various available <clears throat> next coming to the steps to install dashboards so as i mentioned we need to just download and install the packages which are available on the official official open search website as i have shown before so we do the configuration settings as mentioned on the sites and then we need to start a service so for dashboard you can just launch a dashboard using the service system available or manually extract the package which is also as i mentioned there and you can access the ui so uh, this is all about so let's go ahead the summary what we have discussed in this video so yep we can install open search using multiple ways tarbell docker him rpm deb in ansible playbooks even the open we can also install um, access open search using aws open uh, open search service so this is actually a very easiest way to deploy and manage open search so if you are using aws then you can run this open source service which is available uh, even in free trial you can use that after doing some configuration uh, like you have to create i think vpc and do some domain creation etc it has to be done while using open search on aws so that is something you need to do and windows users can install the zip file which is available on their official website and you can just run it locally so choose any of the installation method based on your system requirement if you're using and yep this is the ways available so let's uh, that's it for the today's video we'll connect back in next module thanks a lot thank you so very much